Just, you don't need a weapon to become the weapon, yeah? There's a rose. What Jesus. We're down. I've got 10 minutes and I'm dead. I'm like two, fam. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Welcome to Small Talk again. Out here in the street. Right now we're in the gym, yeah. I'm with my sidekick, KB Keely. Yeah. Tell him, Keely. Tell him what I've won right now. So today we are in premium fitness. And we are going to see D2. D2. Head movement. Alright, look at that there. I'm gonna fuck Keely up like that. Look, why see that move. Why right, look, I'm gonna I fuck your shit up. What do I do? We're oh. supposed to be friends. Yeah, but well, I'm still gonna fuck your shit up, bro. No! Alright, 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 look at why this. Are we Mike gathering? Tyson, Muhammad Ali. I don't know who this geezer is, but it looks hard. Yo, Prince Lassie, blood. Come on. Mm mm. Muhammad Ali and that, fam. Yo. Come on. Are you gonna be on your best behaviour? Of course, man. You know what I mean, man. Come, let me hold the door for you. Not for you. <laughs> Thank you for having us. How are you? What is your name? My name's Zane. And who are you? I'm the owner, proud owner of Premium Fitness Gym. Thank you for having us today. We're not going to cause too much trouble. Well, I'm not going to cause that much trouble. I know. I'm here to look after him, don't worry. Where's he gone now? Don't look at him with the weights. You can't take him anywhere. Get it off. Yeah. Right, get it off. See, I'm not taking you anywhere. Are you still anything for me? Oh, what did you put that before, go? Where is he? Where's so, he do? <laughs> Come on, Jack. You find him. Small talk. Yeah. Man, I'm out here and that, yeah. Come. Man, I don't even know what's coming right now. You get me? I can see him. Run up on him, run up on him. Where is he? He's hiding. Where is he? He's run up there, look. He's hiding. He's hiding. He's trying to hide. Come on, we'll sneak up on him. We'll sneak up. Quick, quick. <laughs> and D2! D2! <laughs> yo! <laughs> yo! 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 Yo, 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 get off, Kitty, quick, quick, quick. But yeah, can you come and show us actually what's going on here today? And yeah, yeah, let me just show us a few little phone, talents yeah. and that. Mm. Let me just grab my phone. Obviously, we're allowed to have the, the gym. Okay, can you hear me through this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're good. We're allowed, you're good. To, we're allowed because these are pros, you know what I'm saying? So you're allowed um, elite training during these times. We've got. Um, Got Idris is a pro, he's got a fight coming up. We've got um, Ijaz Ahmed, he's he's fighting for the the vacant European WBO and IBF, yeah? Yeah. yeah. We've got we've got the Gibbses over in the corner, yeah. Brought him in, he's gonna be the new head coach of the, of the place, yeah? Who's the head coach? Do you wanna come over, sir? Can you can we get in back? Let's let you get. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Back in the ring. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Hey! 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 But yeah, today we're here with D2, Small Talk. Got a few potential talents here. Yeah. And we're going to be showing you what's actually going on behind the scenes today. Yeah. So yeah, just watch out for this one. Okay, so I'm going to let I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Give him yeah? the mic. Yeah. What's your name, brother? Ejaz. Ejaz. What do you do? You a boxer? You a yeah, yeah, martial I'm a pro, artist? I'm a pro boxer. Yeah. Got a big fight coming up next Saturday. Yeah, it's for uh, WBO and IBF European uh, Super Flyweight Championship. Are you on Instagram? 
Yes, I am. Tell us your hashtags, man. Yeah, uh, Ejaz underscore yeah. 93. Yeah. You want to show us some love, you know? Yeah, man. You want to show us some of them dead punches? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Man. Just, um... Just need uh, Birmingham to get behind me and uh, we get these titles, bring them Yo, back. We'll be behind you, bro. Yeah, man. Come on, man. So you having the title fight, is it yes, here? Yes. What's the title for? It's for the WBO and IBF um, Super Flyweight European ah. Championship. Just All a big the deal. luck in the world. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. We've been behind you. I've been training hard. Yeah? Been training hard. Yeah. 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 yeah? Was you just skipping in the ring then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got you skipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were like, you were a lot of stamina, I swear. I can't wait to see you fight. Ten rounds. Ten rounds. Really? Three minute rounds. No, no joke. Really? Is it your um, first title fight? No, no, not the first. I've, I've, um, I've been uh, the Midlands area champion before and I've fought over 10 rounds Wilder. and I've defended it. Wilder. Um, but now, obviously, we've got to just step up them ladders yeah. and uh, the next stage yeah. is this European. Yeah. From there, we go to maybe British or, or even world yeah. or whatever comes. Whatever and, comes. and he's been training you? Yeah? yeah, yeah, we've been. We've been so, so I've been doing work with him recently, but I'm never going to claim him as my own. Obviously, he's got his own. Do it, do yeah, it, now's the time. But, but, we've been, <laughs> but we've, we, it's been a pleasure to have him down to yeah. see. Uh, European level, inshallah, world class inshallah. level boxing as well. So it's just good to, to move around. I've been moving around with a few good pros recently, and it's it's all part of like my learning. Yeah. And if you want to talk about more of my learning, we're gonna go over into the lab. Oh, look at the scientists over here. What's going on over here? Oh, look at these. Look at these. Can you see what's going on? <laughs> okay, let's explain what this is now. Yeah. Give him the mic. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna listen to the man himself. Yeah. Step on the knee. Jack bang. Yeah. So you step on the knees, you're there, but you just sink and drop. Sink and drop there. Now, spin out, can't you? No, not that way. There. Put that on the back foot. There you go. Yeah, he's there. So let's see it real time. Oh, Honda and Andy. Yay! Whoa, that's good! Wow, done. How old are you? 15. Wow, done. Ready? Oh, knockout, knockout. Okay, we'll see that one more time and then we'll get some. Get some talk. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, is this father and son? Yeah, yeah it is. So we're just going to, if you want to just introduce yourself. Yeah? Your name, uh, my name's Paul Gibbs. Yeah, what's uh, your uh, position here then? Uh, I'm just a coach that's. Uh, has loads of knowledge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. knowledge is key. <laughs> how, much, how much knowledge are we talking? How long have you been in the game? Well, I'm 54, so uh, about 40 years. Was you a boxer yourself? Did you do boxing? Yeah, eyesight, bad eyesight. Oh. But uh, my brother was a pro. My, both my sons are pros. My no way. daughters are uh, boxers. No way. So are they, so. Are you from a family of boxers? Yeah. Oh, boxing family, fighting family. Yeah. Fighting, fighting family. family. His sons are quality as well. Both Gibbs brothers, yeah. Tion Gibbs, Corey Gibbs. No Absolutely way. Absolutely brilliant. Switch hitting. They can hit you from this side. They can hit you. Oh! One seven and oh, one seven and oh. So oh. there's a lot of talent in this gym then, isn't there? Really? Yeah, I've actually, I've actually filmed, filmed a few of his uh, his son's fights, yeah. I've filmed two of Corey's and Tion's debut. Yes, and uh, and there's the one where he beat the kid from Wolverhampton as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Knockout, yeah. Find him on YouTube. Say again. Uh, yeah, but you can find him on his your site. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. One, not on, uh, there's, there's highlights on um, Head Movement TV, but you'll have to scroll all the way yeah. down. Cause it, was, it was some time ago, if you're thinking... If you're thinking uh, Tion's uh, debut. Uh, Tion's debut was 20... 15 or 16, yeah. something like that. Yeah. So it's a while back. But. So, so what I'm doing is, is I'm bringing him to be the head coach of this gym now. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Because the position was open, yeah. and I thought, all right, I need to get somebody in with the knowledge, somebody that's going to put me in my place. And if you see the clip of him putting me on on the pads, there, yeah, I was just like, you know what? You know what? Stop it, yeah. man. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm just, yeah. I'm crappy. I yeah. get me. So obviously, this is what I wanted. What he has is absolutely priceless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't, you can't cheat that. You can't cheat the knowledge that this man holds, the experience, the wisdom that this man holds. So I'm just absolutely honoured to have him in and have him represent Premium Fitness. And you know what I mean? I think we're going to do brilliant things Good together. Things. That's will. it. We will. It's good how you got you know why? Because uh, the universe is on our side. Oh, yes! 
Yes, I like that one. That is the energy. I'm getting in with it, yeah? Brother, I. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like butter beans. Tell us more about that. That's what I mean. Just into Buddhism and. Hinduism and you know, carry that type of thing. Do you do thing. meditation and stuff? Yes, meditate, oh, yoga yeah. every day. That's you know amazing. I mean? I'm on a whole food, plant based diet, so I don't oh. eat no meat, none of that stuff. I'm a clean liver and a cleaner owner. Oh, yeah. 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 Hopefully, we're going to earn some good money yeah, together. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You should have seen him on the bag at his age, like, yo, I'm not getting in the ring with him. Trust me. Tell us about you, D. Tell us okay. about like what got you it's into doing the journey. training. The walk, let's walk a mile in oh, your shoes. Oh, oh, see what I did there. Where did it all start from? <laughs> Jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah, get me that. But hopefully, I'm doing the research on this thing. So, if people know me, they know I've done bits and bobs in music. Yeah. When I was the best, you're my favourite. Oh, thank you very much. I'll say Katie. that. She's only saying that because she's no, here I'll next say that to me. before. Don't lie. Yeah, she has. So, um, obviously, I, I did. I did music. Um, I was just there, I was just, that was the thing to do at the time, yeah? yeah. And I was okay at it, I was alright at it, I could hang with the big boys, you know what I'm saying? It's like boxing, I won a world champion, but maybe I was in the top 10, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, yeah, what you say? You definitely there, fam. What say? Invasion, if you know D2 from Invasion, come on fam, one of the realest in bro. Do you know what it was? It, it, it was never my dream, like I'm gonna uh, quote JK, like JK's end goal was always to be big in the music scene. But for me, it kind of wasn't that. It was just like, this is what we're doing. So I'm going to do it. And then things started blowing up. So I was like, yo, i got to be on my thing. Then I got the call from Jammer to be on Lord of the Mics against an MC that was way more established than me, had a massive following in eyes. And I was like, shit, now's the time to go hard or go home. Yeah. And then... Okay, so I was like, right, now's the time to go hard or go home. So obviously, I went through there. I thought to myself, you know what? Even if you lose, just go in and make a good accord of yourself, yeah? Just just hold your own. I went in and I got the W over an MC I should not have beat. That I should not have beat, you know what I mean? Because it was... Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure when my Lord of the Mights was. we go London that time, remember? Yeah, and mine's was after his. Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Dex, man. So that's another reason why I actually left the music scene. When Dex died, yeah, that was it. It was yeah. like the, the thing that I accepted was like me, Dex, JK and that, like killing, beating it up, yeah, killing it. When Dex died, say goodbye to Hollywood. That's what it was. I said, it's, it's done now. You get me? Um, it's not the same for me. Yeah, so I was like, I changed my life. You get me? I settled down. I got a job and this and that. Now, boom, how did I get here? Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, the universe works in mad ways. So, I started doing, I started uh, doing reviews of boxers, yeah? Like, online. Like, I was, like, um, saying that basically Vladimir Klitschko versus Anthony Joshua yeah, was, like, was, Robocop yeah. versus Terminator. And yeah. I was breaking them down. How, like, they're both robotic fighters, but one's a bit more maneuverable than the other yeah. one. One's Robocop, one's Terminator. Do you know what I'm saying? And then people are being traffic. I'd be in traffic and guys are knocking on the window and I'm turning down and they're like, yo, are you doing the fight tonight? Like that. That's it. And then, it, and then I started saying head movement TV and then obviously, yeah. So then, jump, jump up, man. Jump Come on, Gohan. Yeah. Standing there with all your talk. Get in the ring, fam. So, so obviously, yeah. So basically, secretly, yeah. I said all three Secret, then. Yeah. <laughs> secretly, yeah. <laughs> Standardly now, so what happened is J JK got behind it as well. Momo came in, brothers came in because they yeah, loved right. the fight scene anyway. And then I moved it from Facebook to Instagram. And then obviously, we started sending because I was working at the time, I couldn't go into the camps. So we started sending Momo around England him everywhere, bro, in the camps. And, the and, and he put in so much work before you knew it. He was there with Eddie Hearn. And yeah. if you look yeah. and you see all the people he's been around, Alexander Usyk. Uh, you we, see, he's been with everybody. He's I've put the work in. He, he has, has put, put the work, work in. Like all props, all props Hala to Mala. JK, all props uh, yo, to brothers, team, all man. props to Momo. Yeah, and then obviously we started working the our circuit, which was, um, which was obviously East Side. Yeah, the East Side fighters, yeah. which is in uh, Birmingham, and the Renegade fighters. Yeah, yeah. is that um, Jump Pegs? Jump Pegs. Jump Pegs. Yeah, yeah, and well. and that's where I obviously 
came in contact with Paul and his yeah. boys at, because uh, they would be fighting in the villa ground and that's when yeah. I started recording his sons and things like that yeah. and I would just ask him questions like would be at the fights and I'd pick see his brain like that's yeah, right like he'd brain. see things like somebody would be uh, back in their home fighter and be like oh he's doing him and he'd come in and he'd be like I don't think he is. I don't think he is. Yeah, so, expert opinion. So, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I knew yeah, there was yeah. knowledge there. Then I started watching him on Instagram, hitting the. Uh, do you want to come in here? In here, yeah. Strap with him. With the ball, like, yeah, the tennis ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Got. So this was when it was new. Yeah. This was when it was new and hardly anybody had mastered how to do with it and Paul was just shoo, 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 slipping Snap and rolling it, yeah, yeah, it yeah. and it was brilliant so I would always ask him questions so it's mad that it's come round so what happened yeah as you said I yeah. started doing yeah. PT sessions because that was the one I, I, I seen him do it I'd well. be recording these these pro camps and I would take them home and I'd have to edit them and edit them for weeks yeah, yeah. and I'd be around all these world class minds world class fighters yeah and it was up it rubs it off, rubbed yeah. off, yeah. So, what I'm saying it's like, it's I like you spoke natural about all the yeah. boxing. It's like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, man, he knows his stuff as well. That's the main you, thing. You don't, you don't just wake up and be born into being a rocket scientist. You yeah, have yeah. to go to college. Exactly. Yeah. Facts. This is me going to college, yeah. Now I'm going to university. Yeah, yeah, the man is here. The degree. professor's yeah. here, yeah. So, now I'm, now I'm going to, to fill the gaps where it's like, okay, you think you're here, but really but you're here. But I'm going to get you there. Yeah. 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 Next that's how Step it is. Comfort yeah. zone. You, you've got to do with the training. What you got to do is you got to start at the bottom, but don't think you know it all. Because as soon as you think you know it all, what happens? Yeah. You stop learning. Stop that's learning. it. That's, that's what happens. You think you've known enough yet? That's, well, that's that what happens. Sense. I've seen it. I've seen it with loads of good boxers. It, the they've done really well they were schoolboy champions yeah, and then absolutely. they believe in their own hype and then you see them and they, they can't do nothing they, yeah, yeah. They, they lose everything and they're, they're just ordinary yeah. kids Logan Mattel's a prime example yeah, yeah. and uh, Deontay Wilder as well he stopped listening to Mark Breland yeah. and he just fell in love with his right hand and didn't. I think he didn't and have it, to throw a jab I don't, I don't need to box now I will catch her and that's, that was that was his weapon man he'd just catch her with that you meet some yeah. better kids Look, put, put it like this as soon as you what did I tell everybody at the start, even Momo, yeah. they're all going on that thing. I said, look, and this is fucking years ago. I said, the best heavyweight in the world is Tyson Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By a mile. Yeah, there's no, it's, it's boxing, not boxing, fighting. He's the best yeah. boy, and, and there's not one single heavyweight in the country yeah. who could beat him on his day. If he's 100% and everybody's 100%, he wins hands down. He does everything um, even, right. Even when he's at 80, he can still take the win. He can take yeah, the win. Yeah, yeah, because he, he's such a good boxer. And, and people people will see Anthony Joshua and think that he's the athletic yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't him out when you can't hit. For his next spot. So really, yeah, they <laughs> think that Anthony Joshua they think that Anthony Joshua is the technically gifted one, but it's yeah. not. It's he's actually not. Tyson Fury because he's so big, big. and he can move. Yeah. His arms, long distance. Distance. And, and the difference is as well, he's he's got that will to get up off the floor. You oh, have to fast. nail him to the floor. Oh, but I absolutely but I love Anthony Joshua. I love Anthony Joshua. Joshua's brilliant. Josh is a great, a, a great fighter, yeah, but the problem, what you've got to remember, Anthony Joshua started boxing 18, late, yeah. late 18, and what it is with Thingy, that's learnt yeah. with uh, Tyson Fury, that was learned, but it's innate, it's yeah. just in him, so that is what it is, he's just an artist. I don't really know much about boxing. Obviously, I know who Anthony Joshua is, and I think I know who Tyson Fury is. <laughs> but what makes him stand Dang. out? Why is Tyson Dang. Fury? Why does he yeah. stand out? Because it, what he's done is he's done all the hard work in gyms, and what he is, he's he's a master. He, you know, when you see people who are good at what they are, they're good. People are good at certain things, but then what do you get? What's the big difference between that and the next level? He's been an artist. The difference is with him, he's an artist. The thing is just good. He's an artist. He, he's perfected his art. And that's why he's so good. So, so basically, yeah. So I was doing my P PT sessions in the car park or wherever I could. And then during lockdown, I'd go to this gym, I'd go to that gym. And people said, oh, yeah, I like what you're doing, yeah. So I walked through this door to Premium Fitness, yeah. And Zane came up behind me and he grabbed me in a choco. <laughs> and, he, and they put bags over my head and they tied me up and they took me in the back. And they said, right, we own you now, yeah. Forget about going to that gym. Forget about going to this gym. You're, you're Premium Fitness, yeah. Shout out to Premium Fitness. Yo, listen, I'm telling you straight. You see this guy here, yeah. This is the man, I'm telling you. 
yeah he's young but he knows what he's doing I, I wish that my mind state was like this man's when they're how old are you 23 23 oh my god okay you know why he's a boss because he, know, he knows i'm a boss yeah. Yeah, yeah we got along from day one yeah. d2 knew what he was doing and from there we just chopped it up man yeah it was mad but the journey's journey's yet to continue it's, still it's very finished, yeah still ain't finished we got we got big waves to that's to it set. The, once a new gym's opening hopefully in big buffs i didn't know we were telling <laughs> people <laughs> yeah. we set, we you made me keep the secret so we're announcing it we're opening another branch yeah this is the the guy that runs a uh, premium fitness of many other things that is running as well so we've got we've got another another institute that we're going to be opening and it's going to be state-of-the-art yeah but we're not going to say too much yeah we're yeah. not going to say we're going to launch yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the cat's out of the bag I now he told me to keep it on the door because he said it i'm like <laughs> saying it's open season you, you said it that too late me. so uh, let, let me get a dress up in here dress yeah, do, 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 you, do you want to talk about your plans for Idris? Idris okay. is, we all know Idris speaks for himself. I think Idris is a bit shy on camera. Yeah. But Idris has got a fight coming up in Dubai, hopefully. When's your fight? Yeah. May, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're flying Idris out to Dubai. And hopefully he's got, he's got big levels to set there, man. What you reckon? What's your prediction on the fight, Idris? Take out money. Yeah. Yeah. Winner's mentality. We, we don't want to say the figures he's making because he's not telling us even that. Seek and destroy. But hopefully. <laughs> How old are you, EG? 19. No way! No. Look at this specimen. <laughs> 13 years. 13 years? Yeah. Wow. Going for it. Man. Yeah. I think Idris I is a bit shy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have every faith in you. I have every faith in you. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get some footage, yeah? Because Idris is shy, yeah? We're gonna get him in his element. Okay, so what we seen Paul Gibbs do with Ijaz, yeah? I'm gonna do with Idris, but I'm just gonna make some variations to it, yeah? What he can do. So what he done was the jab down the center, the hook round the side, that was a good jab, and then it was the backhand, yeah? So what I did is I made him roll out, so. So roll out, yeah? So that's him fully posturing after he rolls out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop him in the roll. He spots the body shot, bang, yeah? So let's go. So, and it's there. So you see, he, he didn't posture, he stayed down, yeah? So let's do that again. And it's there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is while he's there, I'm gonna make him go to the left side as well, yeah? Step back, or, so you catch yeah. yeah, if you want to come around the other side and get the other angle of him getting the body shot, yeah. So, gonna come back. So, here, jab, there, there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back up, yeah. He's got body, body, he's gonna go back to the head, yeah. Back to the head after that, he does, yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. bang. So, what he did there is he punched all the way through what we're going to do is going to make him throw the left hook and then roll under and pivot out yeah so here he goes good you see the way he pivoted out yeah that's him resetting so we're going to do that one more time yes, 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 yes. Whoa. whoa then he got my head to come yeah so you're going to slip then you roll after yeah so <laughs> Roll! You see that? Yeah? And again? Two, three, 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 Okay, so now we're going to slip to the other side. So he's going to come back with the left hand, yeah? Okay. So you're going to slip. Bang. Bang, yeah? Bang. 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 Okay, now there's one last video I'm going to do, Billy John Saunders, yeah? Cuban. 
Dah. Ya. It's what I do. From behind, okay? So what we're gonna do is either call a Cuban pivot, a Cuban check hook, or a Russian check hook, yeah? You see Canelo Alvarez do it, you saw Mayweather do it to Ricky Hatton, yeah? And Billy Joel Saunders as well. Have you ever seen that shot where he went sh and then he looked into the crowd, yeah? Some pe that's it, some people do it without the shot. They're just there and just go up and move out like that. Yeah. Up, yeah. We're gonna do it with the shot, yeah? So instead of blocking, it's on the shot, yeah? Okay, so if you wanna come round. And then you salute the crowd, or you say, oh, where did that shot go? It was up in the room because it never hit me into the crowd. Say now, Jay. Wrap that one. Fancy day two. I have not seen it through yet. Not in the studio. It's a gym. <laughs> what the? But yeah, so day two, bring it in, bro. Thanks for you fighting us, bro. Yeah. Secret location for now. Yeah. It's not premium fitness. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very street. We want them to know where to come from. What do you mean? <laughs> yo, make sure everyone come down. Yeah, my head's spinning, fam. Yeah. I'm fucked. But yo, make sure you stay healthy out here, fam. Car. You get into a fight and that, you're not ready. Get me? Man to bang you out and that Yeah, fam. you don't want to see Come Jay in the alleyway. Can you give me a little message though? <laughs> Dropping the knives and... Uh, yeah man, yo, there, fam. this is what I'm saying man. Just, you don't need a weapon. Become the weapon, yeah? Ooh. Become the weapon. Come down here, yeah? I'm going to show you our one, you know what I'm saying, yeah? We got Ronin Thai next door with Idris and them lot. And you got premium boxing in here, yeah? With me and Gibbs Senior, you get me? So... Oh Dragon South got me spitting fire out of my yeah, mouth. Sure. Feds try to search me, but this ain't fire fucks. I got three words for you. Fuck the cops. 